A new roadblock for contract workers getting unemployment benefits. Many are being notified today that their benefits they're expecting are being cut off. CBS2 political investigator Dana Kozlov live. Dana, they didn't see this one coming. No, Brad, they were blindsided, they say. No notice, and now lots of concern. It's hard to see so many people struggle. Catherine considered herself one of the fortunate ones when it came to getting unemployment benefits, specifically pandemic unemployment assistance, or PUA. I was like in the first 500 people that applied. Um, and since then, I had never had an issue. That is until this week, when the single mom who doesn't want her last name revealed got this notice from the Illinois Department of Employment Security. It informs her the high unemployment period had ended and the additional seven benefit weeks are no longer available. The notice also states she's exhausted the maximum number of weeks and benefits are no longer payable, beginning the week of February 21st. There was no notice. There was no indication that this was changing. Not only was it a shock, Catherine says her account is still listed as active, shows a balance of almost $1,200, and shows she has six weeks of benefits left. So I'm losing out on, you know, six weeks plus an additional $900 from the federal supplement. What does this mean for you, you know, in your ability to pay your bills, et cetera? It makes it pretty impossible. I mean, PUA has, has been a lifesaver. I heard back from IDES spokesperson Rebecca Cisco just a short time ago, and she says, yes, it is true. She said that those who are getting PUA extended benefits, those seven weeks, will no longer be getting them. She says it's all tied to federal law. What she couldn't say was whether that could change if the stimulus package being debated on Capitol Hill right now passes. And she didn't say why some people were being notified after the fact. Live in the Streetside studio, Dana Kozlov, CBS2 News. Okay, Dana, our thanks.